हरे कृष्ण प्रभु हरे कृष्ण स्टार्ट प्रभु जी यस प्रभु जय राधा माधव कुंज विहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज विहारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरीवरधारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरीवरधारी यशोदा नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदा नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीर यमुना तीर वन चारी जय राधा माधव कुंज विहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज विहारी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय प्रभु पद जय प्रभु पद प्रभु पद शील प्रभु पद जय गुरु देवा जय गुरु देवा गुरु देवा जय गुरु देवा नीता गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो नीता गौर हरि बो नीता गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो नीता गौर हरि बो हरि बोल हरे कृष्ण टुडे क्लास विल बी ऑन हनुमान डिवोशन हनुमान राम भक्त हनुमान कपल ऑफ डेज अगो बी एट राम नवमी एंड नाउ इन नेक्स्ट टू डेज देल बी हनुमान जयंती सो वी शुड बी वी शुड लर्न मोर अबाउट राम हनुमान वी लर्न अबाउट लॉर्ड राम लास्ट वीक नाउ इट्स टाइम टू लर्न अबाउट हनुमान so we have some reference is reading from this book called brihad bhagavata mantra brihad bhagavata mantra there is no online thing over there brihad bhagavata this i had attended a workshop about 5 years ago by his holiness bhakti charu sai maharaj in ujjain and that's how i picked up this book and this is very interesting so we will not go into too much into this subject matter of uh, brihad bhagavat amrita but the hanuman portion in it we will try to read some and glorify lord hanuman but hanuman who is a param bhakta of param ram bhakta param bhakta of lord ram here before uh, coming to Han- uh, hanuman narada actually is searching for the pure devotee of lord so he goes to uh, Here, uh, here goes to Pralad Maharaj, and Pralad Maharaj says that uh, um, that you know I his association or I had the association with the uh, Narsima Dev, Lord Narsima, only for some time, very little time, because he Lord Narsima Dev appeared only for little time, and then he uh, he disappeared. So he had very you know small amount of association or very little association. then what is saying to narad muni that uh, hanuman is very fortunate so i will read some text in sanskrit so that you get the subject text 40 i am reading hanuman astu mahabhagyas tat seva sukham anvabhut subahuni sasrani vatsaranam avignakam translation but hanuman is much more fortunate for many thousands of years he has enjoyed serving the lord constantly without obstruction so we know that all of you would know that lord uh, hanuman when he was there with lord uh, rama 
he served Lord Rama for thousands of years. How many thousands? That will come in this commentary. Commentary. According to Sri Ramayana, Hanuman stayed with Lord Ramachandra on this earth for more than 11,000 years. Srimad Bhagavatam, however, says that he served his Lord directly for more than 13,000 years. In the ninth canto, the Bhagavatam states, Atta Urdvam Brahmacharyam Dharayan Ajuhot Prabhu Trayot Dashabda Sahasram Agni Hotram Akhanditam. Translation Arthat. After Mother Sita entered the earth, Lord Ramachandra observed complete celibacy and performed an uninterrupted Agnihotra Yagna for 13,000 years. So, Prahlad Maharaj says that, you know, he, his association with the Lord, Narasimhadev, was only for some time, little, many, maybe few hours or something like that. We don't know exactly how many hours, how many days. It must be some hours. Because he appeared in Hiranaka Shipu and then he disappeared. Then he gave boon to Prahlad Maharaj. But here, Anuman had opportunity to serve Lord Ram for 13,000 years. Such a big, long, such a long time. Translation of this shloka. After Mother Sita entered the earth, Lord Ramachandra observed complete celibacy. So, after we know that uh, what happened, when, why Mother Sita, he, she entered into the earth. Lord Ramachandra observed complete Brahmacharya and for 13,000 years. It count, I will continue to read. Bubuje che yatha kalam kamam anyan apidayan varsha pungan bahum nirnam abidya tandri pallavaha. Without transgressing the religious principles, Lord Ramachandra, whose lotus pita worshipped by devotees in meditation, enjoyed with all the paraphernalia of transcendental pleasure for as long as needed. So he stayed here, Lord Rama stayed here as long as needed. Anuman remained with. Lord Ramachandra all this time. So that very big statement. Anman continued to serve Lord Ramachandra for 13,000 years. Such a long time. So he is the greatest devotee of Lord. Next text 14, text 41. Yo balishtha tamo balye deva vrunda prasadataha samprapta dvara vrato jara marana varjitaha He is the most powerful person. So still here if the glorification is done by Prahlad Maharaj, Bhakta Prahlad, that Hanuman is the greatest devotee of the Lord. He is the most powerful person. When he was just a child, the demigods favored him with seven wonderful benedictions. Thus, he became immune to old age and death. So now the story of Hanuman comes when he was born. What happened? I will read commentary. Hanuman's unique strength and his other qualities mentioned in this verse and the next enhance his impeded service, unimpeded service to Lord Ramachandra. How he received the demigod's benediction is explained in Sri Ramayana, Tarkanda, 35-36. As soon as Hanuman was born, he saw the sun rising over his head and thought it to be some ripe fruit hanging from a tree. So when he was born, he saw the sun and he thought it's some ripe fruit, like orange or something, because he had the energy. So then he he jumped to he jumped up to the sun to catch it and would have done so had Indra not intervened to protect the sun by hurling the thunderbolt weapon, striking Hanuman in the jaw and felling him unconscious to the earth. So we know this story that he tried to swallow the sun, thinking it's just a fruit. So he was about to swallow and then Indra he inter, interrupted him and then he threw his thunderbolt a weapon. It was stuck in his jaw and he felt unconscious on the earth. Hanuman, yes, he jumped to catch it and would have done so had not Indra intervened to protect the sun by hurting the thunderbolt weapon, striking Hanuman in the jaw and failing him unconscious to the earth. Hanuman's father, Vayu, that's why we know Hanuman's father is Vayu, that's why he's called Vayu Putra. Greatly angered, decided to withhold the force of breath all over the universe. And all the denizens in, of the universe began to suffocate. So we know we, if you don't have good oxygen, what happens? When you go to the mountain area, that we have difficulty in oxygen. So that's why people, those mountain people, they carry oxygen with them. So when Hanuman fell on the earth, 
father vayu he felt angry then he stopped the vayu from the entire universe so the people living in all the lokas they started to suffocate to save the universal population brahma and other chief demigods came to hanuman revived him because hanuman had become murchit meaning he had become unconscious after indra had hit him with a thunderbolt in the jaw so then brahma and other demigods came revived revived him and granted him various benediction next text 42 अशेष त्रास रहित महाव्रत दरह कृति महावीरो रघुपति असाधारण सेवक श्लोक असाधारण सेवक साधारण मीन ऑर्डिनरी सेवक सेवक इज द सर्वन इसे हनुमान इज असाधारण सेवक ही इज फ्री ऑफ ऑल फियर ही मेंटेन्स ग्रेट वाउस एंड ही परफॉर्म्स ऑस्पिशियस डीड्स आउटस्टैंडिंग अमोंग हीरोज he is an exceptional servant of the lord of the rabus commentary says among the vows of hanuman the greatest vow was his strict celibacy he observed strict brahmacharya his auspicious deeds include thoroughly studying all the vedic literature and acquiring the skills of a poet so he studied all the scriptures and it is not very well known that he also was a very good poet his heroism was proven by his exploits in the battle we know when there was a uh, matter opportunity to fight with ravana's army hanuman was the hero he was a hero in every sense of the word as described by bharat muni the authority on poetry dana veeram dharma veeram yuddha veeram tathai vacha rasam veeram api prah brahma tri vidam evahi lord brahma has defined three kinds of veera or hero the hero in charity hanuman was hero in charity the hero in religion in religion in following the dharma and the hero in the battle there is also a mood of persons as a profession called veer or heroism export it three hela vilan gita gadash tayo janasagara raksho raj puras tharth sita swasana ko vidah translation with playful disregard he jumped across thousands of miles of fathomless ocean expertly in the capital of the rakshasa king ravana he comforted mother sita in her distress when uh, mother sita was abducted meaning he she, she was uh, taken forcefully by rakshasa king ravana to lanka then without dis- disregard of this size of the sea he jumped across thousands of miles anuman across the ocean and then gave comfort to mother sita that now i have come here and lord ram is waiting for you and you will be saved text 44 vairi santar jako tanga dahako durga banjaka sita varta har swami gada linga na gochara translation he boldly threatened his enemies burned lanka and destroyed his citadel when he brought back news of sita he received his master's deep embrace so we know that what happened what did hanuman do when he went to lanka he burned the lanka he fought with the armies commentary hanuman audaciously challenged ravana and other rakshasas by killing everyone ravana sent to stop him from destroying the ashoka grove first 80000 rakshasa soldiers so he first fought with 80000 ravana soldier then the great demon jambumali then the seven sons of ravana's minister the the five commanders of ravana's armies and ravana's own son akshay kumar so he defeated all this he fought with this army and the command all commanders jambumali demon rakshasa the ravana's own son akshay kumar he defeated all of them when hanuman delivered to lord ramachandra the news that sita was safe the lord was extremely pleased with it. the lord hanuman was pleased when hanuman gave the news that sita is safe mother sita is safe and she is in lanka and she is yeah she is fine 
in the lord ex was extremely pleased with him and then he gave very good embrace he embraced him lord hanuman sorry lord ram embraced him. so that was like you know when the spiritual master or sorry the god is pleased and this is the pleasantry for the seva or the sadhak or the servant in the next text prahlad Maharaj has listed Hanuman's accomplishment in order of increasing importance. The one we we read earlier. Each additional deed was a more significant reason for Lord Ramachandra accepting Hanuman as his personal associate. So he was a qualified servant of Lord Ramachandra. Text forty-five. So Prabhu Vahakashrista Shweta Chhatri Kapuchaka Sukhasana Mahapurusta Setu Bandha Kriya Gani. translation it was hanuman who acted as his lord's best carrier so we know the sevaks including garuda they garuda and the sevaks uh, carried their lord but here hanuman carried uh, bhagwan ram lord ram on his shoulder on his back his tail serving as a royal white umbrella hanuman used his all the limbs to serve the lord his tail was used to serve the, as a umbrella He is brought back a comfortable seat for the Lord, and it was Hanuman who directed the project of bridging the ocean. So he was a project director. He was he was a Sena Nai, a hero of the monkeys, Sena, Vanar Sena, to make the bridge to Lanka. Commentary: Hanuman is the best of all the Lord's carriers, including Garuda. When his master needed to travel from Pishkinda to the southern shore of the ocean. Anuman carried him all the way on his broad, beautiful, soft back. So he carried him from Kishkinda to um, to the end of this, where. But then, before he flew to Sri Lanka, before the bridge was done, place we go in Tamil Nadu, uh, not to collect money. In modern times, people take the liberty to carry umbrellas of any color they like. But traditionally, only king only kings were allowed to use white umbrellas to equip Lord Ramachandra with this symbol of royalty. While in the forest, where manufactured umbrellas were not available, Anuman provided his own white tail. So the description says that only white. Uh, umbrellas were traditionally carried by only, only the king or the top people, but here Hanuman is making that uh, umbrella, natural umbrella for Lord Hanuman, so that he is comfortably seated on his shoulder. Hanuman provided his own white tail. Hanuman Hanuman took a major part in building the bridge to Lanka, and he inspired the monkey labor force by hurling the largest boulders into place. he also was the hero of one sena text 46 vibhishana artha sampadi raksho bala vinashakrut vishalya karani namos namo saud dyan dyan yana shakti man he fulfilled the desires of vibhishana he destroyed the military force of rakshasas and he had special power to deliver the healing herb called vishalya karani commentary vibhishana even though ravana's brother always wanted to become a servant of lord ramachandra early on hanuman furthered vibhishana's cause by telling lord about his saintly behavior we know vibhishana was brother of ravana but he wanted to serve lord ramachandra and hanuman is the one who brought vibhishana to lord ram and he recommended him that he is a nice devotee of the lord and when vibhishana defected he defected from ravana's army and crossed the ocean hanuman arranged for him to meet with the lord the acts of hanuman mentioned up to this point correspond to those narrated in sri ramayana in the kishkinda kand and sundar kand from here on beginning with the phrase raksho bala vinashakut destroyer of the rakshasas military force through the phrase in text 49 sita prama pramodana encourager of sita the accomplishment of anuman in the yuddha kanda are briefly described 
Srila Sanatan Goswami assumed that his readers were familiar with Valmiki Ramayana. So we, because we have some idea about Ramayana, so he has not described in detail. That's what author is doing. The author's name is Srila Sanatan Goswami. During the battle between Lord Ramachandra's armies and those of Ravana, Ravana's son Indrajit attacked in the middle of the night, resorted to magic, and made all monkey soldiers unconscious. So we know that uh, why Hanuman had to bring some herb or medicine from far away place. So the, now the scene is coming that uh, Ravana's brother, Ravana's son, sorry, Ravana's son Indrajit, he attacked in the middle of night. Now there are some rules. For uh, in the in the war, but uh, he broke those rules. Like you know, after sunset, there is no fight. But what Indrajit did, that he attacked because they were rakshasas. They had some magic power. So Indrajit attacked in the middle of night, resorted to magic, and made all monkey soldiers unconscious. At the time, see Lakshmana also played their pastime of becoming unconscious in order to fulfill a prediction by Brahma. So even Lakshmana also, he was not uh, uh, unconscious, but he played. He acted that as if he is unconscious, so that he, yeah, Hanuman can bring some medicine. Or on the advice of physician Sushena, they had a physician or the Ayurveda Charya Sushena. Hanuman set out. To find the herb Vishala Karani. That's the name of the herb. Vishalya, Vishalya Karani. Which alone could save the lives of Lakshmana and the Varna soldiers. He was able to bring the herb from Gandham Madana mountain. And the name of the mountain. Gandham Madana. Not only once but twice. In the course of this he had to defeat an army of Gandharvas. Uproot the entire mountain because he couldn't distinguish which plant was the correct one and swiftly returned before it was too late. So Hanuman could not make out which is the herb which is required from that mountain. So because he was told by physician Sushena that you have to bring this, he went to this from this mountain. He went to Gandhamadan mountain. He could not make out which medicine is what. So he brought the entire mountain, not only once but twice, swiftly returned before it was too late. That's how Vanasena was revived and even Lakshmana also. Text 47. Swasainya Pranadaha Srimat Sanuja Prabhu Harshakaha Gato Vahanatam Bhartur Bhaktiashi Lakshmana Sacha. Translation. He was very life of his soldiers, always giving great pleasure to his divine lord and the lord's younger brother Lakshmana. He devoted, devoted his serve as carrier for both of them. So here, now the Srila Sanadan Goswami says that he carried not Lord Ram but uh, even Lakshman also on his shoulder, broad shoulders. No other servants of Lord or Sevaks of the Lord or the Bhaktas of the Lord, devotees of the Lord got this opportunity to carry Lord Ram or Lord on his back. Text 48. Jaya Sampaka Sampada Kastasya Mahabuddhi Parakrama Sat Kirti Vardhanu Raksho Raja Hantu Nija Prabhu Supremely intelligent and valorous. He brought victory for Lord Ramachandra. He added to the spotless fame of his Lord who killed the king of Rakshasas. Commentary Hanuman showed his intelligence in giving strategic advice and his prowess in opposing the enemy on the battlefield, especially during the confrontation with Indrajit and Ravana. During those battles, both Ramachandra and Lakshmana rode on his back. Hanuman increased Lord Ramachandra's fame in various ways by jumping over, to the, over the ocean, helping set the stage for the killing of Ravana and so on. So, because Hanuman was the first person to reach Lanka, he knew the strategies, how to reach and where is uh, Ravana's palace and whom to defeat first. So then he was giving strategic advice to Lord Ramachandra on saving Mother Sita. Text 49. Sita Pramodhanaha Swami's 
प्रसादेक भाजक आग्ना आग्नयात्मस्वर स्यात्र स्थित विरहास इट वॉज हनुमान हु एनकरेज मदर सीता एंड बाय द लॉर्ड्स ऑर्डर दिस हनुमान द वन ट्रू रेसिपेंट ऑफ हिस मास्टर्स फेवर स्टिल लिव्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड दो अनेबल टू बेयर सेपरेशन फ्रॉम द लॉर्ड नाउ वी नो दैट हनुमान इज चिरंजीवी ही स्टिल लिव्स दैट्स अ डिस्क्रिप्शन हियर द हनुमान he encouraged mother sita he, he comforted mother sita that now lord ramachandra is waiting you don't need to worry lord ramachandra will come and i am also coming to save you and he is the true recipient of master's favor so the sir sanadan gosam say he still lives in this world though unable to bear separation from the lord although he got benediction from lord rama but he did not go to the vaikuntha planets with lord rama he continued to serve here because that was the order from his master lord ramachandra commentary by sila sanatan goswami after lord ramachandra killed ravana in battle hanuman brought this news to mother sita in the ashoka garden this brought sita back to life and her life became full in happiness when hanuman took her to meet her husband thus hanuman rendered many kinds of welcome service to lord rama and his dear devotees after describing this prahlad next mentions that reward that the rewards hanuman enjoyed for his service when lord ramachandra was anointed king of ayodhya he particularly favored hanuman by presenting him mother sita's gold necklace more than this he granted hanuman unflinching pure devotion to him so now what uh, benefits uh, hanuman got after he defeated ravana and lord ramachandra uh, lord ramachandra killed ravana when the abhishek was done or the raja abhishek of lord ramachandra when he returned to ayodhya after one was over, over he favored hanuman by presenting mother sita's gold necklace to hanuman since hanuman's life with lord ramachandra after the victory was so fortunate one might ask why hanuman how hanuman could ever have left the lord's association why did he not return with lord rama to the eternal ayodhya in vaikuntha lok so if you have seen that goloka char we have a place called vaikuntha and then we know where our earth is all this 14 lokas bhumi and then swarg loka where earth earth planet then the seven planets below tala sutala tala tala and like that then the shlokas where others are there then vaikuntha loka planet and then goloka planet. so there is a, in vaikuntha there is eternally a place called ayodhya so the question comes why anuman did not go when lord ramachandra he went to eternal planets in ayodhya why anuman did not go with him so the author says here sri rasanandan goswami this is the question the answer is that this his lord specifically asked him to stay behind on earth so lord ramachandra particularly he ordered him that he should stay here on the atmeshwara means his own lord and it also means the lord of the atmas in other words by staying in this world hanuman gave all its inhabitants a much better chance to take to the path of pure devotion service so his mission here on this earth was to give devotion service to all the planets all the people living in this world. lord ramachandra ordered hanuman to make this severe sacrifice because the lord wanted to bestow such mercy on the condition sort living in separation from the god is hanuman's most difficult and glorious service so we have to learn wherever we are wherever we go prabhupada also explains in shrimad bhagavatam through various uh, shlokas that wherever devotees go they keep on preaching even if even in the patal loka the hellish planets also people devotees go and preach or do the service of the lord text 50 आत्मानीर्ति श्रवणे नोपधारयन तन्मूर्ति पार्श्वत स्थन राजते अद्यापि पूर्ववत ही किप्स हिमसेल्फ अलाइव बाय कॉन्स्टेंटली हियरिंग द ग्लोरीज ऑफ डॉट राम सो दिस वन इज आफ्टर डॉट रामचंद्र वेन बैक टू द इटर्नल प्लेन अयोध्या हनुमान इन सेपरेशन हनुमान नाउ इज 
in separation from Lord Ramachandra because Lord Ramachandra has returned back to the eternal planets Ayodhya in Vaikuntha Loka, but Hanuman is here. So he keeps himself alive by constantly hearing the glories of Lord Rama. Staying by the side of the Lord's deity, he is present even today with the same splendor as always. Commentary. The pain of separation from Lord Ramachandra would be unbearable for Anuman. But he has survived by staying always absorbed in the ecstasy of Shamanam Kirtanam. So here that he is continuously singing the glories of Lord Rama and he keeps hearing from the devotees of the Lord. Kirtanam. Expert singers among the Kim Purushas like Arshti Sena support Hanuman by providing sweet recitations of Lord Ramachandra's stories for him to hear. So there's a mention of Kim Purusha Loka. Last Sunday, if anyone attended the class in, sorry, in Saturday, anyone, if anyone attended class on, um, class by Arjun Priya Prabhu, he mentioned a place called Kim Purusha Loka. There, Hanuman decides eternally. And there is, he is a deity of Lord Ramachandra and he continues to worship the deity. And there are devotees there. They keep reciting Ramayana. Hanuman by providing... Okay. Hanuman stays in Kimburusha Loka near the permanently installed deity of Lord Rama. He regularly worships that deity in various ways, offering the same personal services he used to perform when together with the Lord. So even after Lord departed to the eternal planets, Ayodhya, Lord Ramachandra, then Hanuman continues to worship him as if he is present now in the form of deity. This is described in Srimad Bhagavatam. Kim Purushe Varshe Bhagavantam Adi Purusham Laksha Mangarjam Sita B. Raman Raman Tat Sharana Sanni. My dear King, in King Purusha Varsha, the great devotee Hanuman is always engaged with the inhabitants of that land in devotional service to Lord, Lord Ramachandra, the elder brother of Lakshmana and dear husband of Sita Devi. A host of Gandharvas is always engaged in chanting the glories of Lord Ramachandra. Their chanting is always extremely auspicious. Hanuman and Arti Sena, the chief person in Kim Purusha Varsha, constantly hear those glories with complete attention. Hanuman chants various mantras. So here this description is from Srimad Bhagavatam that the Kim Purusha Loka, where Hanuman resides eternally, along with the, the inhabitants of, the, of that loka, and continuously Shavanam Kirtan is happening. Hanuman is also reciting some mantras, some shlokas, and there is a chief called Artishena. And there is a Gandharvas, we know they, it's mentioned that they sing very nicely. So the Samanam Kirtanam continues to happen there in Kim Purushavar. Hanuman is absorbed in all Shaman eternally. Text 51. Swamin Kapi Patirdasya Ityadi Vachanah Kalu Prasiddho Mahimatasya Dasyam Eva Prabho Krupa. My dear spiritual master, Hanuman's greatness is well known from scriptural statements like the chief of the monkeys become perfect by acting as the Lord's servant. His servitude is proof of the Lord's mercy. Prahlad Maharaj, this is Shloka also by, we are continuing to, continue to read the Shlokas uh, by Prahlad Maharaj in glorification of Anuman. Prahlad quotes the phrase Kapir Pati Dasya from other words. Parikshit became perfect simply by hearing. Now, we know there are nine types of devotional service. Shravanam Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Dasyam Sakyam, Vandanam, Dasyam Sakyam, Atmanivetanam, Shravanam Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Vandanam, Dasyam Sakyam, Atmanivetanam, two missing. Shravanam Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam. Param Dhyalu Prabhu, what is missing? Shravanam Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Archanam, Sakyam, Dasyam, Atmanivetanam, Vandanam. I think one name is. So there are nine types of devotional service. And now there are pure devotees of the Lord who are master in each of these 
nine devotional service. There is a mention here in, from Srimad Bhagavatam. Parikshit Maharaj became perfect simply by hearing, only by hearing, Shavanam. The son of Vyasa by chanting, Kirtanam. Prahlad by remembering, Vishnu Smaranam. And Lakshmi by serving the Lord's feet, Vandanam. Prathu by becoming perfect by deity worship. This is Vandanam. Akrura by offering prayers. And the chief of the monkeys by acting as a servant. So, Dasyam. Arjuna by attend, Arjuna attained perfection by friendship. Sakyam. And Bali by surrendering everything he owned. Atmani Vedana. How then can there be one description for what is meant, what is what it means to be a devotee of the Lord? So Sanadhan, Srila Sanadhan Goswami says that Hanuman is the perfect one. He is the one who has all the qualities of devotees, devotee. That's why he's the dearest, dearmost devotee of Lord Ram. In Srila Sanadhan Goswami's opinion, Sri Swami's interpretation of the word, Dasyam is, is offering the Lord the fruits of one's work only partially describes Anuman's relationship with Lord Ram. Srila Sanadhan Goswami says that the Dasyam rather should be understood to indicate the perpetual relationship of loving service, an exalted variety of transcendental Dasya. Dasya is complete service. It involves all the senses even on the physical level. Just as all the senses of physical body are purified by a path, they are all naturally engaged by the devotee's absorption in Dasyaras. Therefore, a relationship of servitude like Hanuman can be said to be superior to mere remembrance of the Lord. Prahlad considers his own service of Smarana inferior because it is only an inner activity of the mind. So now Prahlad Maharaj is comparing the service that he is doing. So he is only Krishna Smarana, master in that. But he says that Hanuman he is the most dear servant of Lord Ramachandra. And because he played, he actually used all his limbs in uh, in the service of the Lord. He used his tail for the make to making umbrella and also a charmer like a pen. He used his shoulder back to so that Lord can sit comfortably, carry even Lakshmana also. Then he used to fly, you carry them fly, so he used all the energies. He also you know uprooted trees for the service of the Lord. He brought the mountain of that herb to revive the Vanasana and Lakshmana. So he used all his limbs. So we have to learn that how the Seva or the servant of the Lord does everything required for the spiritual master and the Lord. We have to also use this, not only just Shavana Kirtana, but we have to do some service. So Prabhupada is focusing on the service or attitude in Srimad Bhagavatam and even other lectures that we should do some service to Vaishnava and the Lord. Servants of Vaishnava were the way. Servants of the Lord are Vaishnavas and the Lord is. Text 52. Yadrachaya labdham api Vishnur dasharathes tuyaha nechan moksham vina dasyam tasmai hanumate namaha Translation. All the Hanuman obtained from the Son of Dasaratha, the boon of liberation. Because he was the dear most devotee of Lord Ramachandra, he got the boon to get the liberation. Without striving for it, he never wanted it. He never wanted to accept liberation without the opportunity to serve. He he had the you know, he wanted he had the opportunity to opportunity to go with the Lord uh, Ramachandra to the eternal planets and serve him there. But he never used this opportunity. He never used the boon available to him. To that Hanuman, I offer my obeisances. This is obeisances by the pure devotee of the Lord, Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj himself is saying, I offer my obeisances to Hanuman, who is uh, the dearmost devotee of the Lord. Commentary. This is another verse Prahlad quotes from scripture, from Sri Narayana Yuhastava. As proof of Hanuman's greatness, liberation became available to Hanuman without his even trying for it. But still, he did not want to accept it. He wanted only service to Lord Rama and nothing else. He thought 
even if the cycle of birth and death is broken for me, I must continue serving my Lord. So he wanted to serve the Lord and he wanted to obey his orders, spiritual must, meaning the Lord Ramachandra. Then that's why he continued to stay here, here in Kim Purushaloka and he is continued to serve here. Now also. So we'll stop here. Any questions, comments, any clarification on Anman's devotion to the Lord?